Dito si Pusawa at si Ito yung katan ka ng binabinta kayo. I would usually just stand here for like 10 minutes and stare at the sky and remember how small I am. And it's like, what the kayatan? Nindang nindang. But now I'm like, what? I feel like I'm in outer space. Nothing matters. We're all just us. <laughs> In my last vlog, I slipped up a little bit about moving. Some of you might have known from Instagram that I did move around two months ago, but this story actually started somewhere around the October of last year while I was locked up in my room for an entire month due to COVID. There was a time when I asked my ex if he saw me somewhere in his future because I wanted to know what to do with my life and his answer would be a big determining factor to the way I plan to organize my life. I told him something that made me feel quite sad about myself. Unlike you, who has a clear dream and ambition about your future, I am someone who just wishes to live happily one day at a time. It's Maybe it's not anything very sad. In fact, it is a mindset I've always embraced close to my heart. I lived as a human being instead of a human becoming, but somewhere deep inside my heart, I know I wanted more and losing my boyfriend at the time meant I would have to go on a completely different pathway in life, which I had no vision about at all because I was completely immersed in living at the moment. When the pandemic started, I just came back from a graduation trip I rewarded myself to Japan. I was 21 and it was just the beginning of me wondering about what I want to focus to do in life. I know nobody really talks of the pandemic anymore because of how exhausting it was for everyone, but the reason why people always think I am younger than my current age is because I've been stuck at 21. Even though I'm turning 26 next month, my heart subconsciously paused its journey to adulthood and it scared me for quite a while that realization comes only five years after. The dread was short, but it was loud. Would it be okay for me to start over at an age when everyone's beginning to settle? Eventually, my impulsive self embarked the only tiny ambition I've always had as a kid, to experience living in a country with four seasons. It was a short preparation, around a month or so. Just a little tiny spark of ambition and a whole lot of courage to fly abroad for the first time, carrying both my 21-year-old soul and 25 years old body to finally replay the start button again. I don't really have a bad self-image. I know I'm a horizon, the middle of everything. But I was never really very proud of myself. This, though, I would dead wish to thank myself of last October for finally making the best choice I've ever made in my entire life. As exciting as starting a new sounds, life here in Sydney is far from the romantic picture people might see it be. Oh, 
morning. The environment I grew up in always serves me a privilege of having someone to rely on no matter what comes after me, and that is not something I am offered with here. But something about starting from zero feels very... light. Pressure is always there. My visions just broaden. Suddenly I start seeing everything from afar and I get to appreciate the little things more. <coughs> I actually woke up pretty late today. But turns out I still have half an hour before leaving the house. Sebab bahkan ini tuh gue kurang tidur banget, susah banget tidur. You can probably tell. I now really enjoy walking, even if it's just to a nearby grocery shop. It's in these small walks that I often realize that this is life, and it's freeing to be able to not fret about the situation I am in because of my own thoughts of the future or the past. Other than that, I just let myself do what it wants to do at the moment. Sometimes I wake up late, but there are also times when I wake up early and just sit in the sun. Have light or heavy breakfast, it is all up to me. I have been so wind up in trying to make a life that means something and not realize how much that caged my soul. There must be more to life. I mean, what am I after? If cooking, small walks, resting, sunbathing and all the other small things make me happy, why am I still chasing after something I don't even know is warm? Today is Sunday and it's almost 12. I'm not starving. I'm just freezing, but I'm sad. I'm actually starving. I don't feel like eating. And I'm freezing. I'll show you on the screen, but it's so windy today, so it's very, very cold. winter. Just a dumbo. Me. I'm gonna go basic and eat pasta. Let me be honest, I look a little homeless. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, that's a bad idea. Here, there's a little bit of frost. And this cocktail Frank's is frozen. Why is this frost in the microwave? Frost in the microwave. I'm going to go back to the house. 
Uh, help me. All in all, I know that life will not always feel good and light and exciting, but there's always a way. And this time, it was breathing a way to start over my life at the age of 25 in a place 3,000 miles away from my homey, dense ceiling in Jakarta. Reported weather is partly cloudy skies with a surface temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. 